Hello and welcome to another instalment of our series delving deep into the Ford Motor Company tractor archives. This programme, Volume 4, will be a little different to the previous three. For many years, Ford had a close working relationship with a very important farm equipment manufacturer based in Ipswich in Suffolk. Ransom, Sims and Jefferies Limited were a long established firm, famous for a wide range of farm implements and especially their ploughs. Ford at this time were producing implements of their own, but eventually the full Ford Ransoms range were produced by Ransoms under the FR name. The Ford film unit cooperated with Ransoms to produce two instructional films entitled Good Ploughing, the first of which concentrates on the various working parts of the plough itself. Good ploughing is good farming. Good ploughing, like most arts, can only be achieved by practice. But even practice can't make a man a good ploughman unless he first understands the why and how of ploughing. Why do we plough? Well, man always has ploughed the land. In fact, today, the tool we use is basically the same as the Romans used. True, we've improved the design and made it more efficient, but our models do exactly the same job as they've always done, and it's a big job. Ploughing aerates the land by exposing fresh soil. It adds to the fertility of the land by burying crop residues. Ploughing controls weeds by cutting the roots and burying the top growth. Ploughing helps to drain water from wet land. And finally, it gives a perfect seedbed with the minimum of cultivation. Yes, ploughing does a big job. Possibly the biggest job on a farm. That's why good ploughing is good farming. Some Ransom's equipment can be seen in our next film, which was made in 1957. But the main focus is the launch of a brand new Ford tractor. For the first time since 1917, the Ford Motor Company would offer a choice of two models to farmers. When the Major got a workmate. In the development of mechanised farming, Ford Motor Company Limited, with their vast resources and unceasing research, have played a vital role. In 1951, a new class of tractor went into quantity production at the Great Dagenham Works, the Fordson Major Diesel, destined for immediate success all over the world. But first, England, the most highly mechanised farming country there is. Today, the Fordson Major is a familiar sight in every county, throughout the farming year, by virtue of its outstanding power and reliability, and not least, by its sensational fuel economy. 